Bro, it's breaking news. Houston Rockets just traded uh, James Harden to the Brooklyn Nets. And they, they, I, I, the Nets made up. I don't care what anybody say. You can say it's going to be an epic fail. You can say whatever you want. They made out. You got a former MVP, multi multi All Star, multiple times he done made the All NBA selection, um, scoring titles, averaging over thirty past few years, former MVP, and what's their name? Oh, the Rockets. <laughs> the Rockets get uh, uh some picks. They get like four swap picks and three first round picks or four first round picks. I'm not sure. It's like it's not a lot of first round picks. But the thing is, the Nets made out more than Houston and Houston that what they traded for Carlos Levert, um the white boy Karuks. And that was it. And the Rock is having to trade Curtis Levert for Victor Oladipo. Fair trade. But I just kept Curtis. I don't know why. Why not? He's younger. He, he basically almost got the same skill as Victor Oladipo. So it's almost like getting a younger Victor Oladipo, but Victor Oladipo hasn't got back to all-star form so you don't know if he's ever going to get back to all-star form just because you putting him on a team uh, 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 with Wall and Boogie doesn't mean he's going to get back but it's still a good trade but anyway I'm looking at it like they, they was just like man, we just got to get rid of hard call up the Nets tell them give us a chicken box and an orange soda we can send this nigga tonight <laughs> he just gave his ass away for real because why not get more picks than that and more players? He really want to go there that bad, and the Nets really want him that bad. Man, we take we taking everything we could get from him. But like you said, like I just said, they probably just was, they only want to deal with the headache. They just want to move forward and just hurry up and get the whole situation over with. And I feel him because Harden was killing that team. Rock has actually got a good roster, and I think PJ Tucker ready to get traded, but. At the time, P.J. Tucker, John Wall, Boogie, uh, 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 what's his name, Gordon, um, what's the uh, other little dude name? Uh, I can't remember the other dude name. Oh, oh yeah, Daniel House. And what, uh, they had to let a reason go. But they, they, they got a good roster. That's the whole, whole time, like, Wall playing good, Boogie playing good, like, Houston Rockets, y'all good. Now I, I'm, I'll be happy if I'm a Houston Rockets fan that we got rid of that dude, but I'd be mad that y'all didn't really make them niggas put their hands up and take everything from them. Supposed to rob them. But anyway, that was a good, uh, good trade for the Nets. Now, I really wasn't going to make no video. That's why, I, you know, I don't really do my videos like this. But I'm about to get a video ready right now on this whole James Harden and Brooklyn Nets situation. The good and the bad. Because everybody thinking, like, most people think it's going to be a, a fail. But, you know, most Nets fans and KD fans, Harden, Kyrie fans, oh, this a, is an automatic ring. And it's not much evidence to back that up. Hopefully. <laughs> Being hopeful, wishful thinking, yeah, anything is possible. It's the NBA, but if you want to just go all facts and stuff like that, you gotta put it put it all together and see how it works out. I want to see the chemistry. I want to see how this play out. If if Harden Harden gonna want the ball, like he just went his whole career, he need twenty two seconds with that ball in his hand. So that leaves a second for Kyrie and a second for KD. They got to think fast. KD, he might hit that jumper. That's his think fast. He got to hurry up and throw it up. Kyrie, he think fast. His percentage going down. It ain't a guarantee he hitting that jumper. We seen him in Cleveland. He 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 hit a clutch shot. He not. 
it's clutch everybody trying to make it sound because Kyrie's still my man. Y'all ain't going to disrespect him. He's still clutch, but he not super clutch. And he going to knock every shot down and you leave him wide open. It's cush. Nah. I watched that man when he first came in the league. He He's great, but if Harden going to dribble 90% of the clock away and then pass him the ball, it's going to be trouble. It's going to be trouble. And then Kyrie and KD, look, I'll get into that in a whole other video, but Hard ain't got to change this game. Flat out. Because I know Kyrie ain't going for that shit and neither will KD. So Hard going to change that game up. If he don't, if they can make that work and turn Kyrie and KD into shooters, all right, whatever. But the Pacers traded Victor Oladipo for Kyrie LeVert here in Houston. Kyrie LeVert, he about to shine with the Pacers. I believe so. Oh, yeah, and Cleveland in the deal. They get Jared Allen, and I think they just got Jared Allen. Then they traded Dante Exum. Exum. Dante. Dante Exum go to Houston. Come on, man. Like, this, 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 I don't know if this was a joke trade or April Fools. And... Shit, it's January. But anyway, Cleveland got in the deal somehow, and I think the Rockets got like two of Cleveland picks or one of Cleveland picks. But why the fuck, dude? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Cleveland Cavalier fans, what the fuck is going on? Why do y'all want Jared Allen? Y'all got JaVale McGee, Andre Drummond, and don't y'all still got Kevin Love? Larry Nance Jr. on the bench? What is Jared Allen going to do over there? Y'all better flip him immediately. Why do you want him there? Unless you're getting rid of McGee. That will only make sense. But, let me go work on this video. I'm out, man. Uh, my prayers to everybody dealing with this COVID-19 shit. I just went through it. It's not to be played with. Be safe. Put your mask on. Wash your hands. Be clean. Take care.